The Seventh Amendment guarantees the right to a jury trial in suits at common law. But what about suits brought under statutory law? As the United States Supreme Court's decision in Curtis v. Lothar shows, this distinction can be particularly important in racial discrimination cases. Julia Curtis, an African-American woman, tried to rent an apartment from the Lothers. When they refused, Curtis sued the Lothers under Section 812 of the Civil Rights Act of 1968. Curtis claimed that the Lothers' refusal to rent to her was based on her race. She sought punitive and compensatory damages, as well as injunctive relief. The injunction was dissolved after Curtis found another apartment, and the case went to trial on the issues of actual and punitive damages. The Lothers requested a jury trial, which the district court denied. The court found that the cause of action wasn't recognized at common law because it had been created by statute and because resolving the statutory claim involved the court's equitable powers. The Seventh Amendment guarantee of a jury trial, therefore, didn't apply. The district court held that the Lothers had discriminated against Curtis due to her race and awarded Curtis $250 in punitive damages. The Lothers appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, which reversed the trial court's judgment. The appeals court held that the right to a trial by jury can apply to some actions to enforce statutory rights, depending on whether the statutory claim is an equitable or legal one. The appeals court determined that Curtis's claim for damages was a legal claim. The Lothers' right to a jury trial shouldn't be denied just because Curtis's claim for damages was attached to her claim for equitable relief. Curtis petitioned the United States Supreme Court for review.